OK, well, Kyle, here we are, uh, top of the league at Christmas. What what does that mean to you as uh, as captain of Notts to kind of reach this milestone halfway through the season and be sitting top of the tree at Christmas? Uh, obviously, it's where we set out to be at the beginning of the season, but uh, we're only halfway through, so it doesn't really matter where we are now. It's where come the end of April, where we where we're sat then. So uh, it's always a nice bonus to be at the top at Christmas and uh, in good form. Um, but like I said, we we need to see where we're at in April, and that's the that's the big one. It has been a remarkable year, though. I mean, I I, I did some quick festive maths earlier. 101 points so far accumulated through 2022. Now, I know because that's not over the course of a season, ultimately it doesn't amount to anything, but it does say a lot about Notts, doesn't it, this year? Yeah, I think it just shows how we're improving as a group and as a squad and as a staff as well. Um, I think the the improvements that, then the performances that we, we built on from last season have been, have been quite staggering, actually. I think we've improved a lot as a group. We've brought in a lot of good players in the summer. We've brought in a good coaching staff and we're uh, we're learning things every day and, and we're, we're pushing in the right direction. What is it about this team at the moment, particularly this season, do you think? Because to have got 54 points at the halfway stage is it is a re- utterly remarkable total to have got already. What what do you put that down to? I think it's down to the, the mentality of the group, really. The, the way in which we approach every day in training and, and the way in which we approach games. It doesn't matter who we're playing. We, we want to put our stamp on the game and, and dominate the game throughout and and obviously come out on the, at the end of the match with, with the three points which for the majority of games this season we've done and looking back we probably feel a little bit hard done by in, in some of the games that, that we've drawn uh, that we, we could have been even further ahead so uh, we're sitting top with 54 points I think you said but we're still not happy and we're still trying to f- push for more. But when you talk about the mentality and that focus that you're having to have, with, and I say having to have because of the pressure you've got from Wrexham up alongside you, just how tough is that, like mentally, game by game, to maintain those standards and that focus? Um, it's, it's not too tough. I don't. We're not allowed to sort of slip up with the the way in which the gaffer works, and I think it's it's good that Wrexham are there just behind our necks. It, it doesn't allow us to take a foot off the pedal, and we have to keep pushing. So I think it's sort of credit to them for. For what they're doing and how they're pushing us on to, to be better every day, we know we can't we can't take a foot off the gas and, and train and or have a day off. We've we've got to just keep going and keep trying to improve and trying to keep our, our necks in front for for as long as we possibly can, which we've done for a good part of the season already. But I think the 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 real the real hard hard time of the season's coming up now. This January February period when it's cold, it's dark, it's wet nights. It, it's going to be tough to, to keep that, that focus and stuff but I think as a group we have a good mentality like I've mentioned before and with the coaching staff behind us uh, there's no sort of no, no room for error at the moment and, and we're, um, we need to keep pushing through that January, February and sort of see where I sat come, come that time. And I guess during that busy time is is when you know it's going to be about the whole squad, isn't it? We've seen contributions from other players coming in and playing really well. Players who've had to sit out for several weeks but come in and play really well. And I guess it's, it's going to really be about everybody over the next couple of months, particularly. No, definitely. We've, we've got a busy schedule. Everyone knows that. There's, I think there's seven or eight games from now till the end of January, which is a, a massive amount of games. It's a good chunk of, of league games. So... We're going to need everyone, and it's a credit to the lads for how how they work and train, and and how they manage the bodies off the pitch to allow them to come in and and look as if they've had twenty five games in a row and look sort of comfortable and um, don't look fatigued or not match fit or anything like that. Everyone's come in and and done a solid job so far, and it's important that we we keep that going through the the Christmas period and and through obviously the 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 long month of January. Do you think that is easier to keep everybody happy when, because the team's winning, there can sort of be no arguing, can you? If, you? if you haven't made the team and the team wins, that everyone kind of accepts that, gets behind it because the team's winning, sitting top of the league. I imagine that's a lot tougher when the team's losing, but to be where you are at the minute, you, it seems like you have a very together squad. To a certain degree, yeah, but I know all the lads and how competitive everyone is. Everyone wants to play every minute of every game and... Unfortunately, we can only field eleven players and and bring three lads off the bench. So, um, what we do in training, we we work, we work so hard to, for everyone to be ready. Lads who aren't in the squad, 
on a Saturday morning, the gaffers coming in, Ryan's coming in, and they're doing sessions themselves to to help them get better and help them keep fit and sharp for when they're needed. And like you said, that it's a long season. We've got a small squad and everyone's going to be needed. And everyone so far has done an amazing job when they've when they've come in, whether it's for one game or three or four games. Um, everyone's done incredibly well. Interesting challenge of playing the same team twice in a few days, isn't it? And it, not like in a playoff scenario where you win on aggregate. This is about needing to, to win both sets of 90 minutes. No, of course. I think it's, it's probably a little bit better for teams that can prepare, that can maybe use the first game as a little bit of a taster, then whatever went wrong, they can put it right for the for the next game within within a few days. So um, I think for us, we've just got to keep ourselves on our toes and make sure we're doing the right things. And, and um, we have different game plans and different systems in the way in which we play, so we can always adapt and change. We do plenty of reps and training, so everyone knows that their jobs, whether a whether or not we're playing one formation or the next. So I think um, we'll be able to keep them on their toes and um, keep them uh, expecting something different all the time. And before that, do you have a do you have a Christmas Day in? I know Luke Williams has worked you hard throughout the whole of the last few months, so is he, is he getting you in Christmas Day as well? Or no, no, we're off Christmas Day. We're, we're allowed to spend it with the families, but um, we will be getting sent something through on, uh, on the WhatsApp group to do on Christmas Day. So... Um, Gaffer's quite trustworthy and he trusts the lads to do things properly. I think proof's been in the pudding so far with what we've been doing this season, so I don't think we can uh, we can question it really. We've just got to accept that we're going to have to do a little bit of a of a jog and a stretch, I think, on Christmas Day, get it done and then uh, enjoy the time time with the family and get prepared for, for another game of football. Good man, Carl. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Perfect. Thank, Thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Ollie. Uh, oh, hi, Carl. Oh. Just a couple from <laughs> just a couple from me. No um, worries. So on Tuesday, on Tuesday night, uh, Madhu Cisse made the bench for the first time. Um, I just wanted to know what is that feeling as a player, and how can you use that experience moving forward? Because obviously he didn't start, and Lucien was on the bench as well. And I think after the game, maybe a little bit disappointed they couldn't get on the pitch on the night. I just wanted to know what that experience is like for them, not coming on the pitch, but then moving forward using that to their advantage. Yeah, I think it's it's great for them. I think it's a it's a credit to them two lads for how they've been training when when they've been asked to to come and, and step up and train with the first team. Of course, they're probably going to be disappointed that they couldn't get on, and I think it probably would have been Gaffer's head had we have scored a couple more goals and they they could have come on and and sort of helped out and like like you say, Madu could have made his debut. Um, but as long as they continue to keep working hard, I'm sure that. The time will come eventually, whether it's this season in the league, it's only a couple of injuries and then they're going to have to be called upon or whether it's in the trophy, uh, who knows. But it's just important for the lads to stay involved, keep training well and making sure they're, they're, uh, they're there when they're when called upon. Um, I asked Luke the same question um, just before the game on Tuesday. Um, and it was about whether a lot of fans have suggested that going out of the trophy would have been a good thing on Tuesday night. Do you agree with that at all? Because um, obviously focus then just shifts to the league and being out of the FA Cup as well. I just wonder whether what your thoughts were on that. Uh, definitely not. I think it's a game of football and we should never be going into a game of football trying to lose it and get knocked out of a competition that up to now we're, we're the number one seeded team in the competition. So theoretically we're the, we're the best team in the competition. So it's something that we should be we should be looking, looking to win. Like January... The, the trophy games on a free weekend anyway so it just keeps momentum going for, for me and I think it is something that we should look to try and win it's, it's a trip to Wembley for the for the club it'll be a big day if we can get there there's obviously still plenty of games between now and then and you never know what's going to happen but I think it's just important just to keep winning games of football and, and keep uh, doing the right things I think it gives the lads who aren't playing in the league um, something to look forward to as well and keeps them sharp and f fit and ready for if like I say we have a couple of injuries or, or Gaffer wants to freshen things up and, and they're needed in the league so for me it's uh, it's it's not about going out of the competition we need to try and go as far as we can um, being as, as big a club as we are um, I think the aim is to try and get to that final and, and win it and then just finally for me during the um, game against Gateshead um with Chicks coming off at half-time, you operated in that wing-back role. I know you've played, you've got um, experience in that position. 
for having played there. Uh, how important has that position been for Dom's success this season? Obviously, Kicks, uh, Aaron and Toby have all been brilliant so far this season. So playing in that position um, on that day against Gay, so do you like understand the importance of the job that they do week in, week out? Yeah, it's incredibly tough. It's it's a lot of running and a lot of sprinting up and down the line to, to be a, a winger and an attacker and getting that back post, but then also to get back and defend as a full-back. So, um, like I say, centre-half is my position pri uh, primarily, but uh, I feel like I can be fitted into that into that sort of left-wing-back role, which I do enjoy. Um, but, no, the, the three lads that have been playing there this season are, are doing incredibly well and it's uh, it's important to, to keep them fresh and fit, so I don't mind uh, filling in every now and again if need be to, to give the lads a little bit of a rest because I do know how hard it is 